Hi, just some quick tips about 3D Studio Max. Currently, this version is 2015. Okay, so basically, I taught 3D Studio Max myself. I was at art college, and we had a computer room, and some of the computers had 3D Studio Max in. This was 1999, so it was a lot, many, many versions ago. And we had a really good technician who was very helpful, but what I did, apart from that, I sat down, no tuition whatsoever, just started pressing buttons. And I soon found out, as long as I saved as and plus, it will make a copy of your work without, you know, saving over your the work you've done previously. So you can build up 10 scenes, and if you make a mistake, just go back. And then you can also obviously put it onto a USB or a hard drive to back it up even further. So you really can't go wrong. If you mess up the 3D Studio Max program, you know, some way it's fairly impossible by pressing some buttons, you can reinstall, but that, that never happens. Okay. Um, you might mess up the user interface, but then you can revert to that again. Um, so all I'm just going to say is be inquisitive, be expansive. You know, solve problems yourself. Look at YouTube videos, tutorials and stuff. And and also, remember, 3D Studio Max is just a tool. Okay, don't get involved in whose program is better. Okay, 3D Studio Max makes amazing things. Maya makes amazing things. Even Blender makes amazing things. And don't be scared to try other programs. Because once you learn the concept of one program, such as 3D Studio Max, the 3D animation concepts, such as modeling, lighting, animation, then you can easily transfer those skills to other softwares. It's just the actions and the buttons are a bit different. So know the concepts, then you've got the core, you know, skills. Okay. Um, so basically, I was um, I've actually made a book um, on the Kindle, and it's four dollars ninety nine, and it's got some, um, you know, useful tips, um, and they're visual tips. So it's called Three D Studio ninety nine Three D Studio Max Visual Quick Tips. So if this is, for example, one quick tip, you know, oh, I can't see anything. Press Z, it'll zoom into your whole scene, yeah? Let's delete the camera again, Z, it'll make it, you know. So if you're lost, you don't know where you are, press Z. So that's one of the tips um, made in visual formats. Another really useful tip I found over the years is to remember that you're modeling from all angles as if it was real life, yeah? If you're just modeling from one angle, obviously your model won't look like a hole. Um, you know, think of it how it flows, how proportions relate to each other, then it becomes, you know, like an art form rather than just you're technically modeling, making a model, and it, it might not look so good. Um, especially now if you're doing 3D printing, because, you know, if you're going to make a 3D print, it really does have to be good proportions and very sculptural. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, my book's laid out in visual format. I'll just show you still from Sketchbook Pro. So it's got a big one and it, you know, arrows and a two and then below it in the actual book, it has a description about, you know, how how to do these things. So they're very simple tips and then 19, they're divided into things like animation, creative tips, lighting, etc, etc. Um, I priced it quite low, so it's accessible to you know, lots of people, you know, and it's a tip book. Um, so that's basically it. So that's the end, really. And I'll just show you the cover. And there you go. There's the cover. And as it's, as I say, it's $4.99. And it's available on the Kindle. And I'll try and put a link here on this YouTube video about it. So if you've got any questions or comments, please let me know. Um, the four ninety nine varies um, depending on what country. It might be a, a few cents or a few pence more, a few pence lower, depending on the exchange rate. Just wanted to say that. Okay. Right. Um, and remember, I've got loads more free tutorials going on here on YouTube. And, and check out my site as well. Okay. Thanks a lot. Hope to speak later. Bye.